evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. Hi, Doctor! Ha <laughs> ha! You can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs>
So he succeeded to upload, as you can see, it's really uh, sending a file over to pong.local and uploading the sketch locally. H, which is so now if I press save, he's saving it, and you see automatically the server library is here. So there's no need anymore. You can still do uh, library, add library to the selected project, and then see uh, here they're checked. But then you can check or uncheck them here. If you delete them, just uh, I'll delete all of them. You'll see here that he notices they are gone and he just simply reattaches them. So if you think you had you too many libraries, you can simply delete all of them and do stuff. You see that he gets some bit confused here. That's basically the indexer who gets confused. Checked. That's true. Index and rebuild. Then the mod write will go away. See? The red star is the red stuff is gone. I also have a an Uno connected here on COM4 and we're going to use Simplot here. So we're gonna remove web calculator. Making this bigger is easier. If you double click on the header in Eclipse, it will maximize it. That's always interesting to know. Uh, so we build here for the UNO. Again, you see here a, a mark that Simplot has been added. So just going to remove this because it's just background information. Now, the we're going to upload uh, example. Simplot is now running on the so normally you would have to open, you would have to remember the COM port, which is a bit easier because it's stated there now. And then you would have to remember which baud rate you've used, which is in this case easy as well because it's stated there. Yeah. But there is now a far simpler trick, which is simply click this one. What this one does is it knows the COM port from the configuration. It scans your source code, looks for this string and opens the COM port with that baud rate. I've fixed a lot of bugs uh, in the serial monitor and stuff like that. So the filtering is now really working. There's no added lines and stuff like that anymore. Here you see it with the, the filter, which is actually processed by the scope. And you see it without filtering. I'm going to disconnect. Yeah, we're going to create another program. Three. And now we're going to use the uh, zero. So the zero is a sum D uh, on the programming port, which is. 12. Okay, finish. So see, I waited until the libraries appeared. Now that the libraries is there, we can upload. As to the upload, I've set my settings in Arduino to build before upload here. You can say that he has to ask or you have to say, no, don't do it. So no is the old way of working. Yes is the Arduino EDA of working and ask is just asking all the time. So he did the, up, uh, the completion, he did the upload. So we can connect to the serial monitor now. So see again, just clicking and he's connected to the serial monitor and the scope is working as well. So that's the same thing with the zero. Now we'll use a teensy. I have a 
3.2 here. These things are not so important. Finish. What I wanted to demonstrate and why I opened the three boards is that the to show you how the serial monitor works when you have multiple connections. So I can now select these three projects and click on the serial monitor. See, we have three colors now. Put the auto scroll off. We have three colors. Each color represents one uh, channel. So you know uh, the black one is the first channel. The well, if you just open them all one in once, you don't really know which channel is which. But you every channel has its own color. You can change the colors if you don't like them. In the preferences, general appearance, color and fonts. You see here Arduino, and you can change here the scope colors if you want, and you can change the serial colors. The so black is serial one. Two, two, uh, red is serial 2 and three is, uh, serial 3 is three, green. So if you change that, uh, and it's actually on the fly, assume that we change this one to OK. OK. And if you now put the auto scroll back on, you see that they changed the color immediately. There's no need to stop or start, whatever. Now, as to the visual clues, I already shown some here now you can see next to your name you can see which board if you select it it's less visible you can see which board you have selected and which com port you're using yeah uh, for all of these projects that's i think very interesting another thing i've added is here you have a direct link to the how to on my website so people have for instance problems with adding a library to a sketch this is of course still the old way of explaining but uh, it's documented here just select the entry you want and you have it you have the information so there's a link to the how to there's also a link to the learn which is the same principle of how to to do certain things here yeah um, another thing, other menu is to videos. I'm making more and more videos on YouTube. So this is the playlist I currently have on behalf of the Arduino Eclipse plugin to do certain things. Yeah, that's this video, video will be part of it. Another example of links, or hints, visual hints, is if you look here at the locations. There's where can I find JSON URLs. So basically, this is the Arduino page of the unsupported, unofficially unsupported thing. Uh, I tried all of them. I think the three of them didn't work in, I mean, for importing the boards. I'm not saying they're all really work and get you going, but if there's stuff that isn't, isn't going, there's a defect and we have to look at it one by one. This is all here you should probably find your system and be able to to get it working in the Arduino Eclipse plugin. So that's the type of stuff I mean talking about of having more visual clues and feedback in the plugin. Thank you very much.